guys, Sarkat here, and I'm going to show you a little update on my golem build. If you aren't aware of how this build works, we get five golems through two clay shapers and the anime stone, and I'm going to run a quick little map. So let's get going. By first summoning all my golems. We run four flame golems and one stone golem. The reason for the one stone golem is the way the harmony jewel works is we get more damage based on the different types of golems we're running. A few people have suggested to me that I actually try running um, only three flame golems and then like a lightning golem or something else basically. I have been messing around with it a little bit. I'm really starved for sockets right now. I'm still 100% happy on my links and I think I kind of like just having more flame golems even though it's slightly less DPS just because it makes up for the AI. What is this map? Okay, no, that's it. Um, I'll pick up Luke again, sort of. So, basically, this is kind of my current setup, but it's very much a work in prog. I also really want to try fitting in a, um, animate guardian setup in here. But as you can see, the base playstyle is I just run at things. And it's actually very satisfying for that. So when I made this character, I wanted to have as much movement speed as possible. And if you don't know how golems work, or minions in general, if you run far enough away from them, they will just automatically teleport behind you. So my base approach is I just run into packs um, with all my stuff active, cast a few ball lightnings to proc dual curse and EE. The way I'm getting dual curse is through a plus one amulet. If you don't have to use a plus one amulet, I would recommend a Biscos for solo play. The reason why I use a plus one is because I primarily play duo and I'm currently playing with a Slayer. Slayers have 20% cull, so I'm not using Biscos. I've skipped half the map, but you kind of get an idea of how it works. Sort of. <laughs> Where was the boss? Let's try and hunt the boss down. Uh, I, I'm not really paying too much attention. But yeah, so the way that I'm currently playing, here we go. It works really neatly. Um, so I just sort of run around. My mobs kill most of the things. And then when I'm playing duo, my boy Kane cleans up. But for a level 87 character, it does pretty decent. It's fairly tanky-ish, and I've made some changes to the skill tree. So let's get into all of that stuff now. If you're wondering how I achieve my movement speed, um, you see I have a base 81% movement speed. Then Flash Offering puts me up to 110. And then I get up to 199% without Val Haste active or without um, Phase Run active. When I get hit, um, Phase Run procs. That gives me additional 31% movement speed and also drops all of my aggro. Any wild players out there? Basically, I'm a priest with fade. Um, and to get phase run to work, it has to be the last link in your casting damage taken. Because if you cast the skill, you lose the buff. Okay. So what's changed from the skill tree? So previously, I was talking about going blood magic. And I'll show you why I swapped between that. So this was my blood magic tree. And you go... Um, I'd have to use a essence worm. 7.4k life. Okay, well, that seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. 118 points. Without going blood magic, I can get to 1.4k life. Uh, basically, the exact same amount of uh, life. One extra point. Um, and that's just by spending the points I spend reading down here. Instead, picking up stuff like tireless. And it just sort of evens out when you get the extra flat HP nodes on the tree and you run an extra slot with flat life on it because we do use a belly of the beast it just ends up working out roughly the same um so i have swapped to this and because of that i'm running a haste aura uh, without generosity because because i want it to affect me and an art karma because of my play style of just sort of bum rushing mobs uh when i just run through everything it chills all the stuff behind me so i can run through a pack and ball lightning and the way you run through all the packs is you pop a phasing flask so you can run through everything very neatly. And there's currently some like weird bugs with phasing where like sometimes you don't actually like lose the visual. So your character gets this weird like extra MTX effect sometimes, which is kind of cool. Currently though, we are at level 87, so I have a lot of nodes left to pick up on the tree. Life-wise, I've got this cluster going over here, a few extra points here. So we're only rocking 6.3k with respectable-ish gear. So let's break that down now. So I've got a pair of 89 life uh, gloves and a bunch of resists. There's a little bit of strength on that. You do need to be fairly careful when it comes to resists with this build. Less so that I'm not going blood magic. That was another big um, draw of going for a non-blood magic version. 
is it means that resists are a lot easier on the build and it makes it much uh, easier to just chase high life, high strength pieces. Um, you want the minion increased movement speed stat on jewelry. It's one of the biggest sort of like AI improvements. Anything which boosts the minion speed of your minions makes your minions feel kind of less crappy. But you can see these have very low life on them. Seven league steps with movement speed if you haven't been hit recently in charm. This is the becoming the Sonic build. And it's all about just, well, becoming Sonic. Dual clay shapers for the extra golems. Devedo's Devotion. I happen to have one with the flame enchant on it, which kind of helps a little bit. But mostly for the chaos res and the flat dexterity. The fact they also give movement speed is a nice bonus for a build, which is just role playing. How quickly can I move? Um, these builds are usually very, very dex starved. So by having a amulet with dex on it, I've managed to pick this up quite cheaply. And having this one Devotos, it solves all of my dexterity issues. Otherwise, you need to get dex loads on the tree or invest into dex on gear. You can cheat that a little bit using the essence, giving flat dex piece um, to get it on stuff like belt, where you normally wouldn't be able to get it. It's just like to kind of consider. Six ink belly, it's bis from a defensive point of view. Otherwise, you can use a plus one tabula. They're very cheap. They're like 50 chaos or like a skin of the loyal. But since we're life based, just a plus one tablet is good enough in my opinion. And what I used for the vast majority of my time on this character. So far, so good. Just a little update. I will let you know what other crazy shenanigans. Um, but I've cleared up to tier 14 solo on it. Respectable-ish. I want to get better golems. I need to get level 21 um, flame golem spot here. I need to get level 4 in power. I'm currently running a level 3 in power over a fire penetration because of... The extra levels from Empower also make my golems tankier because it gives them more HP. I don't want to have to be re summing them. You can see I'm very starved, like action bar wise. But hopefully, once I get a couple more levels on gems and I manage to fit in a Animate Guardian setup into my gear, and if you don't know, Animate Garden, Guardian, the way it works, it's a skill gem. It summons this golem thingy, Guardian thing, whatever. Um, and it equips any items you like cast on it. So you could equip items like Leercast, Dying Breath, basically items which give AoE auras, and you just get this extra thing which buffs you and the rest of your party. Sony plays in duo, so I'm playing with a bunch of golems. It just sort of makes sense. But yes, this is a quick little update with a new skill tree in the description. For anyone else following this ridiculously expensive build, golem jewels are muns. I'm Turkey. Have a good day. Bye-bye.